metal Hello everyone, this is Varstrom. Welcome back. Today, I'm here to showcase for you all the frame and a series of essential component systems that I painstakingly prepared for assembling the e-bike. Let's get this show on the road. Wait a moment. <laughs> Let me introduce the indispensable frame. It serves as the skeleton of the bicycle, offering support and connecting all the components. This is a custom-made aluminum alloy frame, and all the subsequent items will be installed on it. Oh, and this seat cushion from Giant. Coming up, take a look at this front fork, which is the SRAM RockShox G. Come and have another look at this part. It is Shimano's brake system. By the way, this set of tires is massive. All of these accessories were picked up by me from the race yard. This only cost me 500 euros. How fantastic. Made a contribution to the green environmental protection. Hey there, my fellow enthusiasts. Here are all the parts I've prepared for assembling the e-bike. Every single one of them has been meticulously chosen. Right now, we're on the verge of officially initiating the assembly process. Folks, be certain to stay tuned. Click that like button, share this video, and let's bring more people along for our e-bike adventure on YouTube. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, let's start this journey. Assembling an electric bike from scratch starts with this tiny part, which is to install the wrist group. This part actually took me a long time because I had to search for the compatibility of the wrist group. And the length of the front fork was not quite right, so I changed some small accessories. After confirming the compatibility, I can finally apply lubricant and install the front fork. Apply lubricant evenly <laughs> the front fork is installed. Next, install the handlebars to make it look more like a real bicycle. Let's get the frame fixed so we can get on with the work. Now it's time for the wheels. brake system. Pass the brake cable from the bottom. To install the brake lever step by step, you need some small tools. The same is true for the transmission system. The gear cable also needs to be laid out patiently. The purpose of the sanding here is to facilitate the installation of the motor. Near the end, just some wire splicing and testing. Adjust various details. Inject new brake fluid into the brake line. Wow, 
I feel extremely accomplished. I have assembled an e-bike from scratch to complete. Concerning the assembly of mountain bikes and the installation of motors, I won't go into detail too much. Those who are interested can take a look at my previous videos. Or if you have anything else you want to know, you're welcome to leave a message in the comments section. Now, let's take a focused look at the instrument panel, battery, and motor. The core kit that transforms it into a powerhouse. What comes into view is a simple and clean page. The most obvious of which is the real-time speed and the remaining battery power. I made a table of other function information. You can pause and view it if you need it. Just like most instrument panels, here you can set units as miles or kilometers, adjust the automatic shutdown time, and set the brightness. Check out the information bar. To set the wheel size information and speed limit information, you need to enter the password 2020. Regarding the voltage display option, it is highly recommended to use the voltage mode as it more accurately indicates the remaining power. Back at the main menu, there are eight language options for you to choose from. Select the language you are most familiar with. Look here, this is the theme setting. Pick your favorite color. Unlike setting a password, the initial startup password here is 0000. You can choose to enable or disable it. This is a display instrument that can be connected to Bluetooth. This requires the use of a mobile phone app. So, this is the most significant difference of this instrument. I haven't used this function myself. Friends who have tried it can share their usage experiences in the comment area. The battery I selected is the Varstrom G70. This battery is 48 volts, 19.2 amp hours. It measures 36.2 centimeters in length, 10.9 centimeters in width, and 9 centimeters in height. As you can see, this size is suitable for most frames. Weighing 4.8 kilograms and with a range of 100 kilometers, it has become my top choice. For specific parameters, you can refer to this screenshot. Let's briefly explore the TSDZ8. This is the most cost effective torque motor. The Z8 is equipped with a torque sensor that can measure the force you exert when pedaling. Since the motor's assistance is perfectly matched to your force, the harder you pedal, the greater the power the motor provides. If you want to experience a torque motor at a lower price, this will undoubtedly be your first choice. Its maximum torque can reach 120 Newton meters and the maximum speed can range from 45 to 55 kilometers per hour. The weight of the motor is approximately 5.8 kilograms. The normal working voltage is 48 volts. The power is 750 watts, and the efficiency is greater than or equal to 85%. The waterproof performance is IPX5. For other products that appear, I have provided links below the video feel free to check them out. Finally, congratulations on completing this journey of building an electric bicycle from zero to one with one. Go to our website and tell me what product information you want to know and what to shoot. We will listen to your valuable opinions and I will make the next video based on your feedback. Thank you and see you next time.